Hello there, I'm Ala Ladika, a computer engineering student from USDT. And for today's video, I will show you what should be inside our go bag. Before that, let's know what is a go bag. So what is a go bag and why do we need a go bag? So a go bag is a bag packed with survival supplies and kept ready for use in case of an emergency that requires rapid evacuation. Knowing Philippines is considered one of the most disaster prone countries in the world, its location makes it vulnerable to a variety of natural disasters. Lying on the western rim of the Pacific and the Circumpacific Seismic Belt, it is subject to storms, typhoons, earthquakes, floods, volcanic eruptions, droughts, and faces other natural hazards. So it is really necessary to prepare and have a go bag for situations like this. A go bag's content should be able to provide for at least 72 hours of food, water, and shelter. As a general rule of thumb, this is the average duration it takes rescue crews to locate and retrieve people in times of disaster. This is also the amount of time that a person can generally survive without water. Although, you should plan for having plenty of water on hand during those three days. Your go bag doesn't need to be fancy. The one ideal go bag should be waterproof, but you can still use some alternatives. If you have a backpack that you are no longer using, yet still sturdy enough to carry all of the items without ripping or getting damaged in some way, you can use it as a go bag. What to put inside our go bag? Since a go bag is a survival kit, it should have the following contents. Number one, survival gear. Make sure that you always have a whistle in your go bag so that you can easily give signals to rescuers and draw attention to yourself whenever you are in distress. A small survival knife or multi-tool can be handy. You never know how much you might have to form or build yourself. Don't forget fire makers, of course. Waterproof matches, lighters, and starter kits are all valuable survival tools. Typically, when the flood is too deep, the electricity is being cut out in certain areas to avoid accidents. See to it that you have a plush light packed in your go bag so that you can find your way easily through the darkness. Number 2. Bottled Water Bottled water is one of the most important things on your list, as you can go days without food but not days without water. Make a point that this will be the first thing that you will pack in your go bag. You may also consider buying something that will allow you to filter and save water on the go, like water purification tablets. Number 3. Ready to eat food See to it that you include ready to eat food in your go bag. You should avoid canned goods which are too heavy and instead opt for foods in pouches or bags. It should be lightweight, non perishable goods and designed specifically for camping or survival that can last for at least 3 to 7 days are the best options to have. You may also add some candies in your go bag for an extra moral boost. Number 4 Clothes it will be hard to keep yourself dry when it's raining heavily, so make sure that you have a set of dry clothes to change into quickly. It will help you not catch a cold, especially during the rainy seasons when the threat of disease is extremely high. Number 5. First Aid Kit A first aid kit is a mask wherever and whenever you are. For those with daily use of medication, pack a spare in our go bag. Add some painkillers or allergy medicine. With the pandemic still ongoing, protection from COVID-19 is necessary, like face mask, alcohol, and sanitary wipes. Dust mask or N95 are also ne needed in case of fire or those locations near volcanoes since they can prevent any hazardous materials from getting into your lungs. Number 6. Cell phone Make sure that your phone's battery is full during these times so that you can quickly call for help or rescue when needed. Not to mention if you get stranded in the middle of nowhere. Number 7. Power bank or battery-operated radio Since electricity might be cut off, 
It's better if you have a battery-operated radio to keep yourself updated about the latest news and monitor the events about the current situation in your area. But, a power bank may also do the job since you may charge your phone that may be used to contact rescuers, flashlight, and even get the latest news through news sites or reliable social media pages. Number 8. Important Documents Don't forget to include your important documents in your go bag, especially when evacuating. Put your important documents in a resealable plastic bag or a waterproof container or a plastic envelope to prevent them from getting wet. Some examples of documents to have to prepare in your go bag are medical prescriptions, a passport or ID, a printed list of emergency contacts, and emergency money. It's always a lifesaver if you keep some cash on hand just in case you need to buy some supplies during these times. So there you have it. You may not need everything on our go bag list to endure a disaster, and we hope you never need to use your go bag. But as they say, it's better to be safe than sorry.